Hello everyone, my name is Laura Rezac and I am the Associate Rector at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina. And today I'd like to pray with you Psalm 107. It's a pretty long psalm, it's in two different parts. So if you have a Bible or a Book of Common Prayer, you can turn to Psalm 107. It's not required, but if you have one, it might be nice to follow along. And you can read with me as I give voice to the words. Psalm 107. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let all those whom the Lord has redeemed proclaim that he redeemed them from the hand of the foe. He gathered them out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some wandered in desert wastes. They found no way to a city where they might dwell. They were hungry and thirsty, and their spirits languished within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He put their feet on a straight path to go to a city where they might dwell. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness and deep gloom, bound fast in misery and iron, because they rebelled against the words of God and despised the counsel of the Most High. So he humbled their spirits with hard labor. They stumbled and there was none to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them out of darkness and deep gloom and broke their bonds asunder. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. For he shatters the doors of bronze and breaks in two the iron bars. Some were fools and took to rebellious ways. They were afflicted because of their sins. They abhorred all manner of food and drew near to death's door. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them and saved them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. Let them offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and tell of his acts with shouts of joy. Some went down to the sea in ships and plied their trade in deep waters. They beheld the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. Then he spoke and a stormy wind arose, which tossed high the waves of the sea. They mounted up to the heavens and fell back to the depths. Their hearts melted because of their peril. They reeled and staggered like drunkards and were at their wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper and quieted the waves of the sea. Then they were glad because of the calm, and he brought them to the harbor they were bound for. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. Let them exalt him in the congregation of the people and praise him in the council of the elders. The Lord changed rivers into deserts and water springs into thirsty ground. A fruitful land into salt flats because of the wickedness of those who dwell there. He changed deserts into pools of water and dry land into water springs. He settled the hungry there and they founded a city to dwell in. They sowed fields and planted vineyards and brought in a fruitful harvest. He blessed them so that they increased greatly. He did not let their herds decrease. Yet when they were diminished and brought low, through stress of adversity and sorrow. He pours contempt on princes and makes them wander in trackless wastes. 
He lifted up the poor out of misery and multiplied their families like flocks of sheep. The upright will see this and rejoice, but all wickedness will shut its mouth. Whoever is wise will ponder these things and consider well the mercies of the Lord. Psalm 107. Such a beautiful psalm. Beautiful imagery. And I love the repeated motif in that first half of the psalm. They cried to the Lord in their trouble and were delivered from their distress. Repeated over and over. People who were humbled by hard labor, who needed help, who were in slavery. They cried to the Lord and the Lord freed them. The Lord heard them. Same way people who were fools and were suffering because of their foolish choices. They cried to the Lord and the Lord hears them and heals them and delivers them. People at sea, people in peril, people who are hungry, who will be filled. It's a beautiful reminder that our Lord is a God of mercy. Our Lord is pleased to deliver people from distress. It's a reminder that God is in the business of healing, that God is in the business of saving. Be well, friends. Stay safe. Wear your mask. And I'll see you next time.